We have a retro video game store, and we get tons of games traded in every day. Today is pretty special though because we got a very rare and expensive Nintendo game and some expensive PlayStation stuff as well. You're definitely not going to want to miss them, so make sure you watch until the end of the video. So this morning when we got here, we had over 60 orders to ship because we didn't ship on Monday. That tub's full, those three are full, and we still freaking have more to do. What's the problem? You are the problem. What? <laughs> Why am I the problem? <laughs> Wanna kill me mopping? You <laughs> know? This is this is quality content, okay? This is what the people want to see. No, it's not. I bet you it is. <laughs> Everybody leave it in the comments. <laughs> oh my god. So for the first time in double jump history, Abby bought a mop and bucket. <laughs> So that we could do this. And it smells really nice. Pine salt. Yeah. It's very pine salt scented. Good. It's a lot better than the dust yeah. and the hand cheese and the sweaty gamer farts that this place <laughs> smells Somebody like. came in this morning and just like crop dusted <laughs> all of that area. <laughs> I just it happens. Away. I was like, mm, no, no. I don't want to do it with this right now. <laughs> it happens every now and then. Yeah. Like, it might not have been intentional. It might have been intentional. Maybe they don't like me. I don't know. <laughs> but, whatever. Adam's breaking stuff. Yeah, it does look really good. Ooh. And where'd you get those? Yeah. 20 bucks. It's cheaper than Amazon. It's better. It's metal, but, not cheap wood. Nice. <laughs> okay, so we have some trade-ins. These are VHS tapes. Um, we have Rain in Darkness, Invasion Earth, Amazon Women of the Moon, Backlash Oblivion 2, Replicator Clone to Kill, Gore, The Giver. That has Mark Hamill in it. It's really cool. This came out like eight years after the Star Wars trilogy. So it's kind of cool to see them say like, Mark Hamill, Star Wars trilogy. Even though it was like, you know, eight years later. Uh, Barbosa. This. This is Volume 1, Acts 1 and 2. Carnival of Souls. Robots. War of the Robots plus Roboman. This is not rated PG, the front of it, I mean. Okay, so we have Time Chasers. This one has a little tag sticking up right here. Has been discounted down, cause like it's a little bit worn and stuff. And then like, you can see some of that. I don't know what that's called. That came off. Smash Cuts. And we have California Raisins 2, Raisins Sold Out. Street Fighter 2 Animated Movie. Lawnmower Man 2 tentacles which i was trying to find this on ebay and let me just tell you there is a lot of other things up on ebay for this title and vhs so it was very difficult definitely not pg for the store this one amsterdam this is opened lord of illusions bad taste and this is a cut box so it's been cut and folded, unfortunately. Has been discounted down due to that. The Surgeon, again, cut box. And then we have Blood Sucking Freaks, again, cut box. Forbidden Planet on DVD. Creature. Uh, the other one, this is volume two, act three. Bone Daddy. <laughs> uh, Amityville 1992 Dead Creatures Moon 44 After Time After Time which is um HG Wells versus Jack the Ripper which is interesting I didn't think that's what it was but Lady in White uh The Hunger Bump in the Night Fatal Fury Legend of the Hungry Wolf 
Love at First Fight, and Highlander The Adventure Begins. This is a clamshell. It is marked as poor condition because it's crunchy right there. And then these were already shown. These are from the Venezuela package, but we wanted to show them with prices. Pokemon Stadium, Stadium 2, Star Fox 64, Yoshi's Story, Mario Party, Star Soldier, Donkey Kong 64, Ocarina of Time, Super Mario 64, and Star Fox 64. And in that time, Adam has put one drawer in. This one is like, some things aren't even. These ones are all fine. Did you break it? I don't know, I put those three together on that side and I moved to this side because these are filming. It's broken because of you. You're welcome. Oh, I think I'm ready to check out. Okay. What'd you got? So I've I've seen I've watched gameplay of these Sean Ron Kagura games. Uh, and I thought that they looked pretty fun. So I wanted to get these uh these two today, please. Okay. I just let you know they're it's pronounced uh Sen and Kagura. Sean Sean Ron. Senron Kagura, I think. Right? I think it's I think it's Sean Ron Kagura. It is it is uh It's Japanese. Kind of, kind of a it's weird pronounced name. differently. It is, yeah, it is it is a very interesting name, but I think it's Senin Kagura. Well, I don't think you know what you're talking about because I watch anime and I have not that <laughs> What you doing? I am testing this to make sure it works. There's a configuration setting screen that you can, it just shows up the entire controller. Nice. And you can test every single function on it. Why doesn't every game have that? <laughs> yeah. So every you can console. do all this, also all the buttons. And this is the green, the green button version. Yeah. The last ones we had were blue button, I think. I don't remember. Uh, uh, and it's like, yeah. you know, perfect on everything. Nice. That's good. This has a separate one for the aiming mm. um, that you can go into. Just for this, though, it'll test the range of motion, like accuracy and all that. But this is perfect. Nice. You gonna, you gonna play the game, too? Uh, I mean, I could. Shit. F1 plus lock and button is back. Okay. But here's the this. So you just oh. I think I <laughs> <laughs> move the aiming you broke lever it. to the center. Yeah. Oh okay. Very nice. So if you don't have it perfectly centered, it'll have like this. Like I had it centered the first time. I think it's fine. So it's good enough. Cool. Like it depends on where you start the test. Right. <laughs> for some reason. So if I have it like more forward, I guess. Yeah. So it's good, but still. Cool. Um. And then go to the campaign. I don't know. DJ. It is a lot to like do this up here with yeah. the floor. Like, if you had a proper like desk, so right. you could like have the, your foot more comfortable, that would be better. But I don't really have that here. Not a great standing yeah. controller. I felt like if I push down, I might move the controller forward. Like, it won't move that far because there's that wood be in there. But this is uncomfortable for my feet. Yeah. <laughs> so. But this game is crazy complicated. Like, obviously there's a million buttons and... So is it like a mech game? Yeah. You're piloting a mech. And this is going to come with it if we end up getting yeah. it You can't well. play the game without the controller, really, so... Nice. Yeah. It reminds me of uh, Damon X Machina. Yeah. It'd be cool if you could, like, use this with it. <laughs> <laughs> I played the demo for that game, and it's, it's so hard to control. Yeah. But I'm sure with something like this, it's way easier. Still complicated, but is there is there a button for skip cuts? I don't think so. Oh, maybe. Oh, nice. So, so it's like 
Hey, look over here, basically. I can't hear what he's saying. No, Coop, I thought you could call it. <laughs> Sir. Oh, it says cockpit hatch, and it's oh. glowing. It's you can get out? I'm you just open it up. Or closing it? Something. Oh, you're closing it, yeah. And then, so it glows. I've ignition. been waiting to come here for like so long. You have to wait for it to load and up. And then, so these <laughs> switches. You have to have them off, then turn them back on. So just like booting up the yeah. mech. You have to go through this whole <laughs> thing. I guess that um, might as well have a process. Big red button. Buttons. Start. Nice. So. So there's the aiming. So this is reversed. So up is mm. down, down is up. Left and right is the same. But you can also aim the camera. And then I think if I just put it, oh, uh, there's fire. Oh no. Oh my gosh. And then. <laughs> oh god, I'm not used to inverted controls. Yeah, I hate uh, inverted controls. <laughs> and then you can like move forward and stuff. Oh, it's, uh, it's the left one. Oh god, there's so many things to do. <laughs> Seems oh, complicated. Can lock on. Okay, so lock onto that. I don't know what else I can do here. Weapon controls, main weapon. Oh. Did I just blow myself up? <laughs> <laughs> Miss. Reload. Oh god. Like, oh god, what's going on? <laughs> seems like there should be a tutorial. There might be. I don't know. Probably. Oh yeah. Cool. It works. Nice. <laughs> Got a different staff pick today. It's not a game, but it came from a game. Mr. Korok. I think it's just, yeah, it's just Korok. There's lots of different Koroks, but this one's, uh, he's cute. And I bought one like a month ago because I needed uh, I needed some some like oh, I needed pillows for my uh, my little couch, my little love seat, in my game room. But I didn't want to get like boring pillows. And these are the Club Mochi Mochi uh, plushies, which we have lots of different ones of. And they're basically pillows. They're they're softer than pillows. Like they're incredibly comfortable. And you know, if you, you put it behind you, it's comfortable. So, uh, yeah. Uh, if you haven't got Club Mochi Mochi plush before, like I'm not, I don't like cl collecting plushies at all. I don't collect plushies, but I needed two big plushies for my my couch. So I got this one and the Octo Rock one, and they're freaking amazing. So if you're ever considering like decorations or or pillows for your house or something. These guys are a great buy and they're adorable. All right, we got Hey You Pikachu. Cabela's Big Game Hunter, which we had the case for. Prince of Persia Sands of Time, 007 Night Fire, Final Fantasy 15, we're already up to 15. Elder Scrolls Online. Hidden Invasion, Star Fox Zero. This is um, complete in the big box. We just bagged it up so it stays nice. We Sports. Who is? <laughs> just leave it. Get, gonna leave it undone so we can we, sports. we can reserve. We gotta, we gotta not like stick these that way we can resurface them first. Cause when you unstick them, they get less sticky. No. For shame. Uh, chicken blaster. Was this one that came with the thing? Okay, this, this came with like the bundle. Things crossbow training. That's a pretty good condition copy actually. Uh, Elibits. This one looks interesting. Boom Blocks. What the heck? Parents' Choice Award. <laughs> it's like a book sticker, not a game thing. I don't think that's... I don't know about that. Epic Mickey 2. Disney Universe. Sonic the Secret Ring. CMNT. Mario Kart Wii. Mario Party 10. Versus Rolly World. Pikmin 3. Amigo Festival. Hello Kitty Cruisers. Super Mario... Super Paper Mario. Captain Toad. And Pac-Man and the Go See Adventure. 
Then we have some Mibo, Mibo cards I traded in. Uh, these are Japanese ones, but they work the same. This is uh, Dobby, I'm pretty sure. You get 46. And this one is Weber. And a Biddy. Then we have Disgaea 5 Complete Tales of the Abyss, Minecraft New 3DS Edition. And the uh, Professor Layton Di the Diabolical Box, Professor Layton and the Unwound Future, and the Curious Village, and the Magical mi mi Miracle Mask, Professor Layton and the Last Spectre. Splatoon 2, Mass Effect Trilogy, Xenoblade, uh, Xenoverse, Dragon Ball, Xenoverse 2. I can't even talk. I'm not good at talking. Medal of Honor, Vanguard, Yakuza 2, Yakuza, and Super Monkey Ball Deluxe Plus, the Steel Battalion. That's the price that comes with the, the controller, obviously. It's not just the, the game. I also have a loose copy right here. Uh... I wonder what happens if you call the um, the Capcom hate line. We should call them. Your phone explodes. What? It also has this registration thing in there with the serial number of the controller and stuff. I don't know if it matches the the one we have, but yeah, yeah pretty cool. And has the operation manual. You call the number? Yeah. The hotline? <gasps> Don't worry, it's the this cat has call. Been restricted or is unavailable. What? Please contact customer care for assistance. Message SC202 CA65. What? They hung up on me. How Capcom's rude. a jerk. Hey man, I was getting, I want to get these uh, new cotton games. Yeah, awesome. You're a big uh, cotton fan? Yeah, those games are so much fun, man. Well, we got something in that I think you might be interested in if you if you like cotton. Okay. Check this out. The original cotton for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Oh, it's only $13? Uh, no, it's uh, $1,400. You want what the f***? You want to get that one? No! I thought you were a big fan, you freaking poser. Look what we got. This is Sonic. This is uh... It's like the werewolf Sonic. And Sonic yeah. Sonic Unleashed? That was from? Or not. What is it called? I forget what it's called. Sonic Unleashed. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm a this werewolf Sonic. I'm a fake Sonic fan. We know. We have a couple more trade-ins to show you guys. One of them, all those two stacks of games came from one trade-in. Let's start with the guides though. So on the right side here, we have a Radiata Stories Brady Game Strategy Guide. Star Ocean the Second Story Prima Guide. Um, this is our third one. Uh, Cooper lowered the price from 40 down to 25, just cause we have so many of these and they don't really sell at that price, so. Then we got Shenmue. And Final Fantasy XI, Official Strategy Guide, Spring 2004 version. So if you're looking for a later version, then, or whatever. I don't know if there's like multiple versions of that, or if there's ones with, with expansions or whatever. Then we got Final Fantasy XIII and XIII II, the piggyback uh, complete official guides. I have both of those, and, thir and Lightning Returns, I think. And then we have a collector's edition, Final Fantasy XV, uh, hard, hardback guide hardcover whatever but then we got some really awesome games in this trade-in well i guess i'll start over mm, i'll start over here right on top we have a poor copy complete of metroid prime 2 echoes harry potter and the goblet of fire dot hack infection uh complete naruto ultimate ninja 2 aragon black god of war 2 enter the matrix Gauntlet, Dark Legacy, Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance, Final Fantasy XII, Demon Stone, Grandia II, uh, Musashi Samurai Legend, I think that's what it's called, yeah. Uh, Dirge of Cerberus, Final Fantasy VII. Uh, this one is no manual and poor condition. Um, Xenosaga Episode One, Odin Sphere, 
Samurai Western. First time we've had this in the store, I believe. Uh, Suikoden in 4. Onimusha Warlords. Prince of Persia, The Warrior Within on the GameCube. Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. And Naruto Clash of Ninja 2. And then for these other games, we have a complete poor copy of uh, Dragon Quest VIII. Uh, this does have everything, but the box is kind of bad. The inside's fine, but the box is pretty rough. Then we have Terminator, Dawn of Fate, Knockout Kings 2002, yeah. Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, Smashing Drive, Tony X Pro Skater 4, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, complete in box. It's pretty good. I did mark it as fair. There's like slight indents and stuff like that in the back. So we have Left 4 Dead 2, Bully Scholarship Edition. Then for PS1, we have Legend of Dragoon. I might replace the case on this. It's pretty bad, um, but it is marked as poor because of this like water damage and stuff like that. Um, Tekken 2, Ridge Racer, Action Man, Operation Extreme, Broken Sword, The Shadow of the Templars, Crash Bandicoot, Black Label, uh, Bushido Blade 2, no manual. Um, I didn't check for a manual, but I, I doubt we have one, but I, I will check just in case we can update this. We have Project Horned Owl, which I don't know if we've ever had. I've never seen it. Then we have Spawn the Eternal, pretty uncommon. Then we have Chronicles of the Sword, also never seen this one. And Brigandine. This is complete minus the map. We did mark it down because all the sold listings I saw did include the map and they were like 25 to 30 dollars more so I did mark it down from there. But it does have the manual, it's in pretty nice condition. That's it for now. Alright, so the new repair station is done. I mean, I just, we, last week we had organized it, or was it the week before, I don't know. Um, we organized this whole section here so it's all repair station stuff so it's nice and organized and we can easily pick out something and repair it um but we just added these today which are super awesome um you probably saw it in the clip with abby showing trades but these are from ikea um what they called? they're the kivisil something things so they're like 20 bucks these things are amazing um yeah, they're, like, they're, they're just perfect for what we, we needed them for, and they're not too deep, so we, there's still um, space to work. So right here we have them for the repair station. It's super nice, like, just like batteries, and we have like different parts, silicone, uh, speakers, capacitors, shells. We have like chargers up here. And then we have like um, stuff that's being worked on or that's a super easy fix that we need, we need to do uh, soon. Like this one came in from Venezuela, but there's no power. So we'll probably just get a new battery. Um, so super cool. And it should help us keep it nice and organized and also help us to get more repairs done. Um, and this side, probably more for um, shipping because this is the shipping area. Um, so we have an order here that's waiting for battery change. Then we have some resurfacing orders here. Um, these are ones that are waiting to be shipped out because people haven't paid for them. Um, so people, if you have a resurfacing order, uh, make sure you uh, pay the invoice on PayPal because some of these are like months old. Uh, but this side still has room. Um, also in that clip, one of the drawers wasn't opening correctly. It was this one. It was actually just because this was bent a little bit and I bent it back. And now it is good to go. It's also kind of nice that these come all the way out. It's like, if you need something specific, you can just take the whole thing out and then just, you know, use it as a little temporary workstation. But yeah, super nice and I'm loving it. Guys, we got a game, pretty rare game. And I don't know if it's still on, on our customer's wish list or not. Um, well, I guess it's not because we already put it in the system, but we have a local customer who's been looking for it forever. His name's Nick. He's a very nice guy. And I think he must have gotten it already because it's, it wasn't on his wish list when we put it in the system. But we got a really rare NES game. I bought this from another game store and uh, we paid pretty close to what we're selling it for, but it's in such nice condition that I thought it'd be really cool to have in stock. It's been over a year since we've had one and that is Bubble Bobble Part 2 for the NES. 
and this is an extremely clean copy, both front and back. Really, really nice. Get a close up on the label and show the peeps, the beauty. You're, it's gonna be hard to find like a cleaner copy, essentially. Um, it does have a very tiny little nick. Oh Can you God. even see that? I zoom in. It's really small and it's right on the edge. So it's all, it's like kind of hard to see, but overall very, very clean, beautiful copy. And it's up now. Wow. I'd like to get all these PS5 games. They're pretty cheap. Um, I don't have a console yet because my mom told me that I wasn't allowed to have it until Christmas time. I don't think she's gonna be able to find one though. But I might as well get the games now because they're pretty cheap. These are all yeah, they are pretty good under deals. Under $20. Yeah. That's, Ooh, that one's brand new too. That's surprising. Yeah. But I, you know I love Just Dance. Oh, I, I know, I remember that. Yeah. All you right, wanna, um, you want to come over and play it with me? Um, I don't think that's appropriate to ask. Um, but uh, I would appreciate it if you could put the shelf back. But I, I'm glad I'll gladly uh, ring you up for these games. Did you want uh, both copies of, of Godfall? Yeah, I'll take both of them. All right, all right. All right guys, question of the day time. Right. Kyle, so. What is one question? Or, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I have a like, question in my head. Do you want to start over? <laughs> no. I hate you. Right after Abby <laughs> said, Kyle, I want you to do it because you, you speak better. <laughs> okay. What is one video game or franchise that you will always buy merch for when you see it? So, mine. Um, if I could afford the $14,000 Terra statue, I would buy that. But Final Fantasy VI or IX, basically. Mine's Banjo Kazooie. Heck yeah! They just announced a, a Grunty or Gruntilda um, first four figure statue. What? Yeah, you need to get your pre order in because it's... I already pre ordered. Okay, good. <laughs> <clears throat> Perfect. And we did it wholesale, and I got two of them. One for the store. Woo! Okay, so for me, I think I have like two or three. Um, and oh. I know one. What? Gris or grease, whatever Gris. it is. Yeah. Um. And then, well, that's not really one. It is, because you've bought everything so far. That's true. That's been, like, three items, though. Um, okay. And then, um, Horizon, Zero Dawn. Is this Zero Dawn? Horizon yeah. was the other one. Yeah. Um, I bought a Dark Horse figure that's on its way here, and it's, like, they only made, like, a thousand of them or something. And then, um, um, that's it. Stardew. No, I don't have everything from Stardew. You have a lot of stuff, though. But you gave me some of that stuff. What about Uriel? I really like Tales of Symphonia stuff, and a lot of it is in Japan, not here, so I have to get it imported. Um, so anything like Symphonia and Abyss uh, particularly, and Vesperia, I'm like, oh, there, there are these, you know, charms that I'm going to put in a box and never look at again, but I need them because they're my boys, you know, <laughs> so, um, and then okay. Skies of Arcadia also, never see any of it. Nice. I missed the Skies of Arcadia Vise statue. I know. They made an Ico one and I am devastated. <laughs> I have no money. Yeah, but I don't, I didn't want that one if I didn't have the other one to go with Right, it. exactly. What about you, Adam? What do you think? My boy Klonoa. Um, didn't know, like, there was barely any merch for Klonoa, and so the only merch that exists is super expensive stuff from Japan. Um, there's a couple plushies that exist, but they're very old, and they're kind of derpy looking. <laughs> um, very expensive. Yes. And I have, I have two, uh, little figures. One's like technically a keychain, but I just unscrewed the keychain part, so it's a figure now. <laughs> and the other an actual, like, Gashapon figure. Um, I sold one of the Klonoa ones, the keychain one. No, not the keychain. The it's the second secondary character in Klonoa two. Um, I sold it for a hundred bucks on eBay, um, like earlier this month or last month. Because he had um, two of them. Yeah, because they had them from people we get stuff from uh, Japan. So yeah, expensive. So let us know in the comments what franchise you will always buy merch from. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.
Bye. Bye.